Tonight I'm making a one skillet meal. It's quick, it's easy, it's healthful, it's a great weeknight meal. So I've already sauteed some vegetables. I've got a green pepper, a red bell pepper, a couple cloves of garlic, and about a cup of onion, chopped onion, all chopped. I've got it sauteed in about a tablespoon of avocado oil. You can use whatever kind of cooking oil you prefer. I use avocado oil a lot. It's good fat and it's got a high smoke point. So I've sauteed that until it's really nice and tender, but I've also added the two spices, a teaspoon of ground cumin and half teaspoon of ground coriander. And the reason I put those in right away at the beginning is because it mixes with the oil, it gets a little bit toasty, the flavor really develops, but the flavor comes out because it's mixed with some fat. So it's all set to go and I've got the rest of my ingredients ready to add. One thing I'm adding is a cup of quinoa. I've rinsed it off and you know quinoa is just a tiny gluten-free seed it's a great substitute for rice and any grain really and the one thing I love about it is that well actually two things it cooks fast and it's a complete protein so I'm going to put that uncooked quinoa right into the skillet I think I'll stir it up a little bit and then I'm going to add one 15 14 and a half 14 and a half ounce or 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes along with the juice. Be sure to put the juice in too. And I've got a can of drained black beans. And if you cook your own black beans, it'd probably be anywhere between a cup and a half and two cups. So stir that all together. And then I'm going to add a cup of broth. Just put that in. And it will seem liquidy, but you need that liquid because we're going to put it back on the stove bring it to a boil, put the cover on, and let it gently boil for probably about 20 minutes. At that point, all of the liquid will be absorbed and the quinoa will be cooked. It'll be nice and tender. I put a little bit of ground black pepper into the pan, but I always save the salt for the end because I like to taste it and just add it gradually. You never know how salty your broth is. Sometimes canned beans can be a little bit salty so just add it gradually and taste it as you go so it doesn't get too salty and that's right at the end before you serve it once you have it all cooked you'll see that you've got just a beautiful meal ready to go it's so tasty this is an amazing dish you're going to want to try this one i'm sue doden sharing good food for good life 365.